Hi there. Welcome to the another video of Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services, also known as SSIS. This is a step-by-step -step course from scratch. In our last video, we have seen the introduction of SSIS, what is data integration, what is ETL, what is SSIS package, and how we can collate all the data in a single platform, integrate it, and transform it to whatever requirement it is. And once it is transformed, we can load it into our destination table. So that is all the progress about ETL. And now we are going to set up and install the integrated development environment for SSIS. So in this video, I'm, the agenda is installation and setup of data tools, which is also known as SSDT, setup development environment, where we will create our own SSIS package, and configuration of IDE. This is a platform where you will see control flows and data flows and how to integrate with several data sources and transform your data. What is control flow and data flow? We're going to see in uh, upcoming videos. For now, let's get started. So today, I'm going to my SQL Server browser and here I'll type SSDT download. So let me type it as a new SSDT download 2012. This is already the latest version is 2017. However, 2012 is sufficient for this purpose. We'll click on the first link. And you'll, you can see here you can get the download button. If you click this download, it will start the downloading on your system in a few seconds. If not, you can directly click on this download manually and you can download it from there. So as you can see, the download has been started and it will take some time. So I'm going to cancel this because I have already downloaded it and it is already on my machine. So in order to initiate SSDT on your system, go to run and type Visual Studio. 2012. So Visual Studio 2012 is the 2012 shell integrated mode for SSDT also known as SQL Server Data Tools. So this is how the interface of SQL Server would look like. This is not SQL Server, this is Visual Studio 2012 which is also known as SSDT. So I'm going to cancel this and here you can see like new project open and connect foundation server. What is this? What is this all about? We'll discuss in our IDE setup. For today we have downloaded it and this is all you need to develop your SSIS package. That's all for this video. And in the next video, I'll tell you about what are the features this ID is all about. Till then, take care.